playoff prognosis continues on here at CampusInsiders.com. Jordan Cornett here, joined by my man, Doug Chapman, our college football analyst. And Doug, you know I had to get in on this one. We're talking Notre Dame football. I'm an alumni. I'm a big fan. This is near and dear to me. So we started at the quarterback position. Everett Golson returns for the Irish out last season, but took us at 2012 National Championship. Malik Zaire is contending for playing time at that quarterback position. Let's say you're Brian Kelly. Who do you go with? The experience of Golson who took you to that title game, or Zaire, the young freshman who wowed people in that spring game this past offseason? And that's the dilemma that Coach Kelly and his staff have in front of them. Go with the guy they have a body of work on, Golson, who's been out of football for an entire year, or Malik Zaire, who they've seen all spring, and he had a great spring game but that's just practice not a game we're talking about practice we're talking about practice they want to see what a guy can do in the game whoever they put back there he gets wide receiver DeVaris Daniels back he's been reinstated he was suspended as well he's their deep threat second leading receiver on the team last year what I say is you start Golson let him get out there you give Zaire some packages but if Golson struggles you pull him and let it be the Malik Zaire era all right you're talking about practice I'm talking about defense now this is another place where we've lost some serious muscle you got Stephon Tuitt gone to the league Lewis Nix the third gone to the league what defensive changes do we make under our new defensive coordinator in Brian Van Gorder. Yeah, Van Gorder wants to make a, a, a new attacking style. Mm -hmm. Last year, their defense sat back. They were too patient. They didn't get after players. They didn't take the football away. You lose some of that muscle up front. So you look at that defensive line. Who do you get back this year? You get Sheldon Day. You also get Jalen Smith, at linebacker. Very athletic football player. You lose some of that muscle up front. Brian Van Gorder wants to create a more attacking style of defense. They move him from Sam to Will to get him out in space. Smith is a fantastic athlete, one of the best you'll see in college football this year. And what he can do is create mismatch problems. You bring him from the weak side. Watch for him to be very disruptive on defense. All right, the get money question right now. Everybody wants to know. We're coming off that high in 2012 the national championship game, which we lost. But last season, a four-loss season. Season. Not good. Give me your prognosis for my guys in a college football playoff. That's going to be tough for your boys this year. I got to give them a three, and that's being generous. They're, in, they're independents. They're not in a conference. A three! So they don't have anyone to lean on. They can't get a conference championship game. There is not a conference championship game for them. So if they slip, it's over for them. Look at that October. Stanford, North Carolina, at Florida State. You get open date. Navy's going to play it tough. You go on the road to Arizona State. Then you end the year with Louisville, who's going to score 40 points no matter if you win or lose, and you finish at USC. It's not going to be very easy. If they lose one game, they're out of it. They lose two games. It could be a rough season in South Bend. A three? <laughs> three, a three, brother. Jeez. That's a generous. Three. I could have went two. Doug, thanks for your time, man. Well, us Irish fans know how big that final game of the season is when we take on USC. So the Trojans, stick with us here. Doug Chapman, my guy over here, the expert, he'll give you their playoff prognosis here on CampusInsiders.com.